So you might be in this specific situation, or for some reason, your particular Delta emulator is showing you that it's missing the required DS files. Now, this happens for really only one reason, and that's because you're missing your emulator, basically your Delta files. You're basically missing your BIOS files inside of your Delta emulator. So if you go into your main Delta page, if you go into your settings in the top left corner, if you just go and scroll down a little bit, you'll see at the very bottom, there's going to be a little core settings option right here. You're gonna go and tap onto the Nintendo DS option here, you're going to see a couple things that come up, but here are those BIOS files. Now, probably you're going to have a little missing option or a required option that comes up right here. To find these particular files, though, there's one place that I went to that actually kind of helped out a lot, and that was actually by going onto Google. So I literally just went to google.com, and I just typed in a RetroArch DS BIOS files GitHub. So that's essentially the page I went to, and this first page right here is a GitHub link. What I do is I went ahead and just clicked on this particular link right here, and there's a particular folder in this particular you know, file that basically will show you, essentially, inside of this particular link, there's a particular file out here that's the Nintendo DS one. And what you're going to want to do is you want to click into here and find the Nintendo DS one. So there should be one somewhere here. As you can see right here, there's GameCube, whatever. But then here is the DS one. What you want to do is you want to tap into the DS one right here. What's going to happen is it's going to go and bring you into this page. What we're going to want to do is you want to find these three files. So you can either tap into them and click on them, or what you can also do is you can just go ahead and click on just like one file like so. And then when you have this file up, you can click on the three dots right here, and then tap on download, and you want to download all these files. So download those three files, the BIOS 7, BIOS 9, and then firmware.bin. So again, just do that exactly the same thing for these other files right here. And then what you're going to want to do there is you basically just want to make your way back into your, you know, by the Delta emulator like this. You want to click on each individual file. You want to find that particular you know, BIOS files that we had before. So click on here. You can go into Downloads right here. So click on all those files that you had before. And all you're really going to have to do is just essentially find that file, bring it in. And that's really all you're going to have to do. It really is that basic. And it, again, just rinse and repeat with all those other files right here. That's essentially all you're going to have to do. And then that error will basically be fixed. If you have any other thoughts or questions, well, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. Now me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.